This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS. Hi guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks. We have finally made it over to downtown Taipei into Hall 3. Actually, this is my 15th Computex and I've never ever seen a startup hall over here. So our friends from TCA did a bloody good job to get all these startups from everywhere in the world. And basically this one that we're going to take a look at is called Sensor. They're from Mountain View. I just came back from Google I.O. But what you're going to see here, to be honest, is pretty mind-blowing. I mean, when we talk about you know, all kinds of mobile device uh, with uh, touch screens, we also have to talk about, you know, what, how many touch points it has and, you know, how many pressure levels. So what you can get right now with a really, really nice combination of a tablet and a stylus is about like a thousand pressure levels. This one, the Sensor Morph, has over 4,000. So this is at least four times higher than any technology that I know so far in the mobile space. Um, just to show you how sensitive the whole thing is, let me just, first of all, just use my finger. Now look at this here, all right? And now I'm really pressing on this kind of 9.7 inch. It's actually the same size as an Apple iPad as the 9.7. Look at this, but you can even use a little brush. <laughs> Let's put this little rubber cover on top of it. Put this bottle on here. There we go. Oh, look at this. Absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything like this so far. And you, you can already buy this. So it costs like $249 over here. And then you're getting the Sensor Morph and you're getting a free overlay of your choice. Because in the future, not only in the future, they already have overlays here. So whether you're a professional, semi-professional or a hobbyist, when it comes to drumming, right, you put on your drumming overlay and you connect it to a sequencer or a little, I don't even know what that is, dual de drum demo, or you put this little, let's. Look at this. That is quite impressive, but I think that's the most impressive demo here. Let's take the brush again. Holy shit. <laughs> Any more questions? Seriously, this is super. And let's talk about the use case for anything like this. Yes, we could talk about artists, but I would definitely see this in the automotive industry. Especially companies like, um, when you look at how Audi or uh, Mercedes um, are using the in-control systems for the infotainment system. So they have little kind of track and touch pads over there and they have like basically two pressure levels, right, on and off. And to just combine it uh, with um, a sensor morph right now, you could even just, you know, add tasks to different pressure levels. Really, really interesting thing. And I'm so glad that we stumbled upon them. So this is a sensor morph. I'm searching for mobile. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.